Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions, um, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your surveying problems. Today we are going to talk about astronomy, yeah, field astronomy, and then we are going to look at how we are going to calculate for the azimuth of a celestial body and emphatically the azimuth of the sun. So it's going to be an um, awesome ride and um, I would want you guys to join us in this um, very very interesting question so we have um, astronomy is just um, a branch of science that deals with the study of um, celestial body ah, i'm not saying you should go and use that as a definition for astronomy but you know that's just like um, a summary of what the cause entails and it's quite an interesting cause because it has um, its application in geodesy and um, in the um, what do you call it so many so many um parts of science are um, we can apply astronomy even in cadastra we can apply it cadastra like no more cadastra you know yes you can use astronomy so it's actually interesting so we are going to look at this particular question here they say given the following data obtained from sun observation on a certain day Compute the azimuth of the reference mark. So the first um, parameter given to us was the latitude of the place of observation, which is around 8 degree 55, 45. Then the observed altitude, which is 34 degrees 26 minutes 30 seconds. The declination, which is south 21 degrees 15 minutes 36 seconds. Then the angle of the reference mark to the sun, 106 degrees. 55 minutes then five seconds so they say we should do what we should calculate we should compute the what the azimuth of the reference mark so the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to see the formula we would use the formula to use is what cos a equal to sine dec minus sine phi sine h all over what cos phi cos h so that's the formula for computing what for computing azimuth of a celestial body are we together? Your A is the azimuth, the D is the declination. This um, theta here is what the latitude of the place. Your H is the corrected or the corrected altitude of the sun or the celestial body. Now the next thing is we are going to look at um, the little corrections, or we are going to look at the corrections we would apply on the parameters. Now on this question, there was no time given. But if there was a time given to you, you have to convert the time to universal time by subtracting one hour from the time given to you. However, there was no time given on this question. So we are going to do what? Apply refraction correction and parallax correction on the what? On the observed altitude. So the observed altitude is what? 34 degrees, 26 minutes, 30 seconds. So for us to apply, the first correction that I would apply is the refraction correction. Refraction correction is given as what? Minus 58 seconds cut HO. Minus 58 seconds what cut HO. So now how do you get cut? Most of our calculators don't have cut on it. So cut is simply one over tan. Cut is simply what one over tan. So what do you do? In order for us to have cut HO, we start with tan HO. So we say what tan HO. What's our HO? Which is the observed altitude. The observed altitude given to us was what 34 degrees. Are we together? Ensure you are pressing it on your calculator along with me. 26 minutes and what 30 seconds that's tan ho so remember we told us earlier that cut is what one over tan therefore we now say one divided by this answer so this is the cut ho are we together the first thing is what you do tan ho then the next thing is do what you find the reciprocal which is what one over that particular answer you got so you now have this value we have here is simply what cut ho now remember it is multiplied by minus 58 seconds so we say multiplied by zero degrees zero minutes what 58 seconds so we have zero degrees one minute 24.57 seconds are we together it's all right now the next thing is the parallax correction the parallax correction is given as what 8.8 seconds cos HO. This is cos, and you can easily get cos on the calculator. So the first thing you do what cos HO, which is cos the altitude given was what 34 degrees 26 minutes 30 seconds multiplied by what 8.8 .8 seconds. So we have zero degrees 
0 minute 8.8 seconds are we together so you have what 0 degrees 0 minute 7.26 seconds is that good so we are now going to apply these corrections to what to the observed altitude so our observed altitude given was what 34 degrees 26 minutes what 30 seconds then the first correction is minus 0 degrees 1 minute 24.57 seconds then plus our final answer or let's say the last answer we got are we together so we have the corrected altitude to be what 34 degrees 25 minutes what 12.69 seconds i hope you're also pressing along please on your calculator it's all right so now the next thing we still bring down the declination there's no correction for it the latitude of the place of observation then the angle of the reference mark to the sun so we now start our computation now this method of stating all the parameters out saves you the stress of having any maybe ambiguity which one am i going to do or what am i not going to do so please we are suggesting that when you want to carry out any calculation on astronomy you just have to break it down like this for ease and even anybody assessing your work will understand that yes you know what you're doing so now the first thing is what sign deck so the deck there is what south 21 so that south simply means negative so we have what sign minus what 21 degrees 15 minutes what 36 seconds so we have minus 0 degrees minus 0 0.36260069888 are we together and there's another important um, trick i would want you to understand at this point at any point you carry out any calculation or maybe any operation on this computation like when you are carrying out any computation that you know it's long ensure that you store the values on your calculator because it's very very important you know you cannot be very sure that you want to impute this value on your calculator without making a mistake we are not saying you can't do it but there are chances that you might just like we have 0 0.36260 0, you might add the third zero there or maybe the six you might add another six there so it might not be six whereas it's just six nine so ensure that you store it on your what on your calculator so that you can easily what you can easily recall them it's right so now having said that we are going to store this as what alpha a so we are going to store this as what we are going to store this as a are we together so it has been stored as a the next thing we do what the next thing is what sine phi which is the sign of the latitude and the latitude given to us is what eight degrees so we say sine eight degrees 55 minutes 45 seconds are we together so we have 0 0.1522 so the next thing we are going to save this as what we are going to save this as what as b so that's how you carry out the operation you save it and until what you get to you get to this point now the most important thing about this operation is that you ensure you store your calculate you store your values or the results on your calculator so that you can easily what you can easily recall them so by the time you do sign deck sign phi sign h then you find the product of what sine phi and sine h which is this next step then the next step is now what you now carry out all the operations on the numerator which is sine deck minus sine phi sine h so it will invariably be what a remember this was the first value so a minus this sine phi sine h is this so we say this is a b c d so it will not be something like a minus d i don't know how you might have saved it on your calculator but if i'm following if you are going to follow what i'm saying then it will be a minus d so that particular difference you have will be stored on e you now come down to the denominator you start by either cos phi or cos h by the time you finish them you multiply them together so you now say what the numerator divided by what denominator so you now do what the cos inverse of whatever value you have here are we together I just want us to press these things on our calculator so that we can have, maybe we can arrive at the same answer as I did. Are we together? Good. So by the time you find the sine inverse of this, you have 123 degrees, 32 minutes, 47.98 seconds. So this actually is the what is the azimuth of the celestial body. 
the azimuth of the celestial body and the celestial body we are talking about now is the sun so this is actually the azimuth of the sun however on the question they say we should do what we should calculate what the azimuth of the reference object or the reference mark so they say therefore azimuth of the sun is 123 degrees 32 minutes 47.98 but we need the azimuth of the reference mark so for us to calculate azimuth of the reference mark we have two formula either the east or the west depending on the position of the sun and by extension the declination so for the east or the west we can use either of the formula depending on the position of the sun so we are going to use the east for this particular question now we have um, az which is azimuth of this of the reference mark equal to what 360 degrees minus the angle of the reference mark to the sun minus what the azimuth of the sun so we left this value um pending or let's say we left it open for us like the viewers we want you to do what to carry out the calculation and then leave your answer on the comment section so it will be an interactive session like okay you drop your answer there we'll come we see it we'll see okay yeah this answer is okay so we it will be like an interactive session between you and us in this particular question so um thanks for coming to class this is actually the process you would use to do what to calculate what the azimuth of what of the reference mark now there are other questions whereby you calculate the celestial um, coordinates yes and there are questions you there are different questions in um, astronomy but as time as time goes by we are going to consider some other kind of um, questions on astronomy so um thanks for coming to class um if you are coming to our channel for the first time please um, subscribe to the channel and if you've been coming thanks for coming back and if you've not subscribed please subscribe to the channel make sure that um, you like this video and then you share it with your friends invite your friends your colleagues there are so many surveyors that will actually benefit from this surveying solutions so thanks for coming to class i hope that you found solution to do what on how to carry out a um, azimuth computation yeah to compute for azimuth of a celestial body and azimuth of reference mark so yeah thanks for coming to class and i'll see you on the next video.